a room full of ambition, a bit of tension, and family dynamics. We're taking a peek behind the curtain of next Tuesday's episode of Little People Big World, where Amy Roloff, along with her husband Chris Malik, her ex-husband Matt Roloff, and his fiance Karen Chandler are coming together for a cause close to their hearts. They're brainstorming for a charity event to benefit the Dwarf Athletic Association of America, DAAA. But as it turns out, this isn't your typical team meeting. Right from the start, Amy steps up to the plate, taking the reins firmly in her own hands. She asks Matt when they can hold the event at the farmhouse, a place that is usually rented out for short-term use. The air is filled with anticipation as they try to pin down a date. June 24th, Amy announces, and the decision echoes through the room, leaving no room for debate. But this is where things get interesting. Matt drops a truth bomb in a follow-up interview, hinting at Amy's ability to transition from a leader to, shall we say, a more authoritarian figure, faster than you can say, micromanager. It's a roller coaster, folks, and we're all buckled in. The intrigue escalates when they discuss logistics. Chris suggests using the section of the barn where he and Amy tied the knot, and this suggestion further inflames passions. Amy, on her throne of practicality, categorically rejects the idea of spending money on a tent, citing financial concerns. She explains that it is a leadership style born of experience, a balance between command and chaos. Chris supports Amy, citing her unparalleled experience. However, as they struggle to complete the location, Matt and Karen can't help but laugh as they watch the drama unfold. They're on board, albeit as Captain Amy's co-pilots, ready to support, and maybe, just maybe, let Amy plan the next fundraiser. Laughs guaranteed. Fast forward to Amy and Matt's past. Their marriage lasted almost three decades, but ended in 2016. Despite the breakup, they found a way to come together for a good cause, showing that, in the end, family is family, and growth and change are part of the journey. Amy's conversation with E.T. ahead of the season 25 premiere sheds light on this dynamic, emphasizing that while they may not be best friends, they can come together for something meaningful. In summary, this story is not just about planning a charity event. It's a look at the complexities of relationships, leadership, and coming together for the greater good. What do you think of Amy's approach? Is it a sign of a true leader or a recipe for tension? Share your thoughts in the comments below because I look forward to hearing what you have to say. And that's it, friends. Another intriguing story from the world of celebrities and TV dramas. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to learn more. Until next time, Max was with you. Stay tuned, be curious, and as always, keep the conversation going. Peace be with you.